So then we had the best match I've ever seen in my life. Without question. We had Mokujin Ken, otherwise known as Ken the Box, against the Mecha Mummy. This was so this was so awesome. Ken is a tree. He is a man in a tree costume. No, that's not true. He's a he's a real tree. I'm sorry. He, he's he's there's he's <laughs> he's got a stump for a head. Yes. A non-animated, non-moving, <laughs> fixed stump for a head. His body is like virtually a perfect square, right? <laughs> Angles everywhere. There, there, it's just it's like they put like wood paneling on it and then wrap some leaves on him and put a bird on his shoulder. There's a bird on his shoulder. And best of all, his arms are like there, there's a cylinder for his bicep, a cylinder for his forearm, and then giant wooden balls for his fists. <laughs> and the, the, his arms move a little bit at the shoulder, not at the elbow at all. Also, he, because of the constraints of the box, he cannot take a step larger than about three or four inches. So he comes out. This, this entrance took longer than The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Yes, and may have been better. He came out, he, he stood at the top of the ramp, and did what I guess I would describe as sort of a uh, a more animated version of the Bushwhacker March. He waved his arms up and down. Then he waddled down the ramp. Step after step he took, this, inching his way closer and closer towards the ring. They actually had two seconds accompanying him to the ring, to, to make hopefully sure, to make sure he didn't fall over. I guarantee you is what they were there for. If, if he fell over, they were to, they were to prop him back up. <laughs> so so he gets his way down to the ring, inch by inch at a time, step by, by gradual step, and he gets to the like the, the next to the ring in the center of the apron, and he turns to the fans, and that takes about six steps. And he does the bushwhacker march again, and everyone cheers. And then he turns back and he marches along way along the ring, and he did this on every side. This killed like seven minutes, and it was awesome. So he gets out there, and as soon as he's walking around ringside, my first thought was, "Does this guy get in the ring?" Yes. So then out came the mecha mummy, who is a man in a metallic. He's, he's, he's basically a robotic a, mummy. He's a mechanical mummy with a giant metal fist of some sort. Like, and a drill. When I was a kid, I had a Godzilla that had a fist that shot off of it. As did I. And uh, that's what he has. And also a, a, a conical object, which we later determined was a drill. And uh, so he comes down to the ring, and, and the announcer says that because Ken the Box cannot get in the ring, it is now a street fight. So the mummy and the box proceeded to have a street fight. <laughs> they did battle. This match could have main evented whatever the WrestleMania version of, of Kaiju Big Battle is. It was great. It was. They, they brawled around ringside and hit each other. The mecha mummy used his, his uh, fist. He, he shot it at the uh, tree. Like Godzilla. They fought into the crowd, and the, the uh, mummy went up onto a giant balcony and shot the fist down from the balcony onto the tree. Well, the, keep in mind, folks, this tree and this mummy were fighting in ECW Arena. Yes. And they brawled back in the bleachers. They were, I'm sure they were near the infamous Crow's Nest area where Tommy Dreamer went through three tables. This may, I think that's where the mecha mummy shot the fist from. Yes, he, he went up to where the platform where I, I think Tommy Dreamer and so many others have t- taken their giant fall. He shot his fist from the sky at the tree. The tree took it and sold it and waved his immovable arms in the, in the air. And then the mummy just walked back down the stairwell. And the fans chanted, He's hardcore. He's, He's hardcore. hardcore. This this was a thing of beauty. This restored my faith in humanity. So then Mecca got the conical object, the drill, and he knocked down Ken the box. I should note he stole his bird, which everybody hated. He knocked the box down, and then he began drilling the tree. He drilled and 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 drilled, and, drilled, and, drilled, and finally the ref stopped it. The tree had submitted to, to drilling. He had given up the leaf, or however uh, trees pass on in this world, and this was the best match in history. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> I loved every second of this, and I would watch a best of Ken the Box comp. Well, we'll probably be getting one in about seven days now. This was awesome. That w- that ruled. That saved this entire DVD by leaps and bounds. This may have saved the wrestling industry for me. 